Okay, this is a prose poem. Um, it's uh, also been done uh, with uh, input from Bitchan. We're trying to experiment here. And it is really a quest. It's a quest. The instability of instability, a prose poem. The instability of the unstable is the stability of the stable. We then make unstable, the unstable stable. With this in mind, I start my search for the Holy Grail. The instability of instability. I go into my head to get my bearings where the glow of brand implants may sit the stars of my identity. Hard to read. I buy some reading glasses and study philosophy instead. But I recognise I am branded and this is my first clue. With this in hand I write an essay on the stable and play with the labels of I and thou to see how this all looks on paper before taking it out on the street where the ice cream comes in all flavours of goodness with only two percent fat. I get a cold flush from this exposure and buy a hat to protect my head from missile strikes of cool meaning and realise the message is the massage and armed with this second clue I return to my head to consult with the dead. They tell me this and that about the status of this body which is the present ability, stability that walks unsteadily through a dish of traditional cornflakes. Crackle and pop during the anthropology of this archaeology and reviving my love of horrors. Tell me this and that. So I jump down onto the table of the unstable where touch is the touchstone that shines when rubbed. And offers disability to the words that lock us up with the key we make with help. Romance on the telly. Here I find my oats of choice. We're real fruit, mind you. And again, only 2% fat. But well, what about the national treasures of identity? I press my hand on the skin of their fable and find sweaty armpits and dirty serviettes as they eat the common people with an appetite unregulated by dietary considerations. With this revelation suspended in reality. Is this a metaphysical clue? Is it the devil in the detail that I have had? But this is not the way but the key to the stable, the normality of the normal. It is at this point I thankfully recognise my horse's voltage, leaving my search intact. I can't roll my bicycle and check my horse with its magic mane flowing over the hand, or so it seemed, but it might have been another illusion of the sun. And so I cycle unsteadily across this land of instability, stopping only for the odd quick exchange with stable wardens. Tired with chasing a phantom horse, I find a bed, more a dingy mattress with stripes, and the stains of many lives to show upon gone bodies. Or is it the stripes that matter? Is this the sign I'm looking for? I grab a computer from nowhere and Google stripes. I am concerned that this is the 13th slide, but I cannot walk under it and so talk past it as best as I can. As I discover that you can earn your stripes or be marked with stripes, commended or condemned, I feel dizzy with a vision of good and evil. Or is this my Catholic upbringing? So I find a crowded place and a stable table to share my findings with other comrades of the unstable able. I get up with urgency to go for a pee and then return to my vision. Only to see I've got a candle onto a damsel's knee. With nightly vigour I apologise but I'm fascinated by the smelted neck stockings as her fingers plucked I was struck by a brand of thought. Next game! The aim of good and evil, of God and Satan, strict there. I feel strangely exciting 
is and in need of guidance, to calm me down while I cannot sit still, and so resolve to have it by disturbing the table of instability, spilling beer over the problems of philosophy, and raising the issue of self-government. This anarchic reflection allows me to swim against the tide for a brief moment before my pants are dragged off by the force of the market. As this I brace myself not to forget my aim and by the skin of my teeth escaping to the moon and end, clutching my season ticket, but now myself, straight bear. In this condition I follow tradition and gallop onto the pitch in a space of bliss as I now recognise the instability of instability lies in the naked moment. <laughs> At which point I wake up drenched in the perspiration of normality. I tell this off with unstable analysis. I am branded. The message is a matter. Pressing skin is revealing. The devil is in the detail. And the detail. Good and evil. Strikes. Next game, self-government, anarchy, being strict fair, leading to the naked moment. This time I really wake up and with an empty head I catch a headline on the radio. A streaker was caught today, but lose interest, it is not the sort of thing I do. And go back to bed sipping my cocoa and scan the latest catalogue of the normal before I slide into 